All right, welcome. Today I wanted to talk about does microneedling cause granuloma? Specifically, does microneedling with vitamin C cause granulomas? So I didn't even know where, when this came out, but uh, in the past few years, I've noticed that people would comment and say, do not microneedle with vitamin C because it causes granulomas. And I was like, I have never heard of this. Where did this come from? And I actually saw it was a lot of it was from Dr. Dre's video on microneedling, which you can view here. And I will do a whole response to her video. We got to actually read the studies and figure out like where exactly it came from. I firmly stand behind using a vitamin C serum after microneedling 100%. It is how I started my business back in 2012. It is by far the most effective thing I've seen for skin healing, collagen production, and um, fading acne scars. But yeah, it can cause um, issues if you are using the wrong vitamin C, the wrong product, or doing it at a not good place. I actually printed out the whole thing and the article is called Facial Allergic Granulomas Reaction and Hypersensitivity Associated with Microneedle Therapy for Skin Rejuvenation. So basically what happened was there's these three women age 40 to 60 who used the same vitamin C serum. So two of these patients used the same topical moisturizer. So they used a Vita C serum from Sunita Skincare during microneedle therapy. They had the these granulomas okay and these two patients who did it had a positive test reaction to a vita c serum so this means that it was from most likely the vitamin c serum that these patients had used that was why they got granulomas um, because they did test positively patch test reaction to the vita c serum okay now they actually looked and tried to contact the manufacturer of this Vita C serum and there was no response. It said, despite several attempts to contact the manufacturer, Sunita Skincare, we were unable to obtain samples of the ingredients for patch testing. Results of patch testing to the ingredients we were able to obtain from other sources. Basically, they hypothesized that the culprit allergenic chemical is one of the non-tested ingredients or an unlisted ingredient of the Vita C serum, such as unknown fragrance or preservative. So, for example, in the Banish serum, there is you know, very, very little preservative, very, very little fragrance. And the reason being is because there can be allergic reactions or reactions when there's just too much in there. All right, so let's talk about the three different cases in getting granulomas for microneedling. So the first one, she was a woman in her 60s and she did microneedling at a med spa. So for those who are saying, you know, they got a reaction at home, it was not actually at home. They were at a med spa um, and what I thought was really interesting was they used a derma pen, but they put the serum on before they microneedled. So do not put topicals before you microneedle. Do not use microinfusion devices when you microneedle. We don't have anything like contaminating the needles. Do it separately. So they put the Sunita Skincare Vitamin C Serum on and they did the microneedling treatment. And yeah, she basically had a lot of issues from this and it was presumably that Sunita Skincare Vitamin C Serum that caused these issues. Um, also, she had a lot of medical history. So she had um, ductal invasive breast carcinoma. So she had breast cancer, um, anxiety, depression, hypertension. I mean, she just had a lot of underlying health conditions. So her body probably couldn't fight off whatever that vitamin C serum was causing her, okay? It's probably advisable before you do microneedling with that topical just to do a patch test, put it on your skin, see how your skin reacts. Because if you're gonna break out or have sensitivity um, to that topical without microneedling, most likely you're gonna have issues doing it microneedling, okay? So let's talk about case two. Um, I don't even know why they do this. And you guys, I really, really, really like the moral of the story from this is you really need Need to do your own research and do not blindly trust professional opinions. You guys have known from the past few years, I basically sued my general contractor because he just did so much shit to my home that wasn't allowed. And every time I would ask him about it, he would gaslight me. So a lot of professionals, just because they're professional doesn't mean they have your best interests at heart. So if you do want to get professional microneedling or professional facials or med spa treatments, just get multiple opinions and take your time to do your research before actually pulling the trigger. I just want to like, do not blindly trust professionals, okay? because there's good professionals, there's bad professionals. Okay, 
So for the third case, but basically she developed issues after the first microneedling session. And then she had, she kept coming in to that place and kept getting professional microneedling sessions, even though she was developing issues on her skin. That's specifically why I created a device where you can really target the areas that you need. Like if you do have active acne or you just have a weird thing going on in your face, instead of rolling over to the entire face, you can just really target where it is that you want to microneedle. Okay, and then she also refused a patch test. So we don't know like if it was a serum that they used or something else. Um, but yeah, I guess she didn't do a patch test. And so the moral of the story is do not microneedle over any active issues that you have on your skin. This is why I created a derma stamp device like this. Overall, you know, it is possible to get granulomas but you see the first two patients used a very specific Sunita skincare vitamin C serum that caused the granulomas because they did develop a positive patch test. And then the third, you know, they were microneedling over active issues on their face over and over again without letting the skin heal first. Okay, so knowing that we know now, we know that vitamin C does not cause granulomas after microneedling. Um, but we can learn a few things from the study that was published. So the first thing is always making sure that your skin is clear before microneedling, your skin is clean and you're using a safe and sanitary device. So for the Banisher 3.0, you fill it to the fill line and you clean it with rubbing alcohol here, okay? And then it also has replaceable heads. So you can always replace these heads and I recommend replacing them more frequently than not just because you don't wanna be you know, transferring bacteria on your skin from one place to another. And I always say if you're gonna microneedle on different parts of your body or your face to always use a fresh new head because you don't know what could be here, could go there, you know, vice versa. Um, number two is to make sure that the topical you use is something that you've used before, has limited fragrance or preservatives or anything that can irritate your skin. So do a patch test, do a test on your skin before microneedling with it. Um, use a product that you've just been using for a long time and you know you're not gonna develop any reactions to it. So do not use a brand new serum or topical after microneedling without you testing it, okay? And number three is if you notice any actives, if you notice any breakouts, any risk of infection issues in the skin, do not microneedle over that area. In fact, I would actually wait until that skin part has been healed um, before microneedling there. Now, let's say, let's say in that chance you have like an active breakout and you microneedle over that active breakout and then you like keep microneedling and then you discover that you spread the bacteria there absolutely stop microneedling and then toss the head that like puncture that active acne or went over that infection you have to toss it because you know you just don't want to risk spreading that elsewhere on the face which is what they did what happened in the third study in which she had active infections on her face she kept microneedling and it just made it worse so thank you all so much for watching i hope you learned that vitamin c with microneedling does not cause granulomas uh, correlation does not equal causations and people need to read the goddamn article because i like did not know where this this fake news of granulomas was coming from until I saw Dr. Dre's video and I'm gonna be responding to her video because it's just not accurate. She doesn't go into the details of the study. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's just like fake, fake news. I didn't know like, I didn't know fake news was not only in politics, but also in skincare. So I've had this business banished for over 11 years and we've had absolutely no issues with it. And it's just really because done the research, you know, done the due diligence and really pride ourselves on making the best products for getting rid of your acne scars and building collagen. So thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this and I will talk to you guys later.